Hi everyone, in last class we just introduced the chapter wave optics, isn't it? So we are going to study in detail about Huygens principle. So Christian Huygens was the physicist who put forward the idea of wave theory. So this is an introduction to the wave theory. Actually what does this Huygens principle means? Let us see. Actually it states that each point of the wavefront, first of all we have to see what is a wavefront. It is defined as the locus of all points having same phase at the instant of time. For example, if we consider ripples of water, that is also another form of a wave, right? Yes. So ripples of water means origin is there and few waveforms are created. In some instant of time, few points are there which is of same height. That means height that is uh, crushed and few points will be in trough. So these set of points which are in the same uh, excited positions, they together forms a wavefront, isn't it? Their surface together forms a wavefront. If the points which are in trough, that means the displacement is negative. So what will happen means this will form another wavefront, you understood? So the group of these excited points or depressed points actually means a wavefront, okay. So what is a wavefront? Wavefront is defined as the locus of all points. Locus means group, okay. Locus of all points which having same phase at a given instant of time. The idea of wavefront is very, very important. Okay, next we will be, uh, we have to discuss about the different types of wavefronts coming. Actually, there are three types of wavefronts based on the source because if the source is a point source, wavefront is of one form. If the source is in the form of a slit, wavefront will be of another form like that, it goes on. Okay, so that's a wavefront. That means at an instant of time, it is defined as this group of locus of all points which having same phase or in the same state of vibration. Is it clear? Yes. So, according to Huygens, what he says means, according to Huygens, each wavefront is the source of secondary wavelets, okay. Each wavefront is the source of secondary wavelets which spreads in all direction with the speed of the wave, okay. So, if we consider a point source, the wavefront will be move for, moving forward, okay. That means, all the points of the wavefront are going to become the secondary sources. That's the basic idea. Each point of the wavefront is acting as the source of secondary wave, wavelets. This one. So the wavefront will be moving forward in the direction secondary wavelets will be emitting. And how to get a secondary wavelets is very easy. To draw a uh, circles, circles with the that radius value which is equal to v into tau. That means v, what is v? It is the velocity of the wave. What is tau? This is nothing but tau. It is time, okay. Tau means it is the time with which that wave is propagating. Suppose we want to find out a secondary wavelets at an instant of uh, 1 second or 2 second like that. How will you draw velocity into that 2, 2 second? one value you will be getting and using that if you draw, see suppose this is a point, you want to form a secondary wavelets, how will you draw? So let us see, suppose this is a point source, we want to find out a secondary wavelets after a time tau, what will happen? You can draw a tangent like this, a circle like this, again one more circle like this and this boundary will give you the secondary wavelets, so on. Is it clear? Yes, that's what it means. So, next point about uh, Huygens principle is that the waves which is spreads in all direction, okay. That means it moves forward and uh, what happened means gradually it will spread in all direction and each and every point new new wavefronts are formed from the wavefront secondary wavelets are formed and so on. Like this 
a wave is propagated in the form of wave fronts and wavelets okay primary wave, wave front and secondary wave front like that it goes on and we will we can see the entire propagation of the wave so the wave is exactly is propagating in the forms of uh, this uh, secondary wavelets and primary waves the wavelets that's what huygens principle means is it clear so these are the points just go through it so what does it says each point of the wavefront is the source of secondary wavelets and all points of the waves are going to be they are creating secondary sources and how to get uh, the secondary wavefront to draw the tangent of the secondary source okay like that uh, they spread in all directions and uh, every point we have uh, we are getting new new wavefronts and wavelets okay so this is the basic idea about huygens principle see so we can consolidate the huygens principle in such a way that see every point of the given wavefront may be considered as the source of secondary wavelets which spreads out in all direction spreads out with the speed of light in that medium mm -hmm. new wavefront is the forward envelope of the secondary wavelets at that instant so this is what the two ideas okay what does it mean every point this is one of the wavefront so you can see that every point will act as the source of secondary disturbance and how to get the next wavefront means just to draw circles with the uh, the distance distance is equal to v into tau draw circles and if you draw tangents to that you will get the secondary wavelet okay this is in the case of a cylindrical wavefront this is in the case of a spherical wavefront that we are going to see in next topic okay in the case of spherical wavefront there will be a point source and you will be getting uh, circular circular type not circular spherical types of wavefront which is spreading in all direction so what is altogether huygens principle states so what are the important points every point on the given wave wavefront may be considered as the source of secondary wavelets which spreads out in the speed of light in that medium okay the new wavefront is the forward envelope of the secondary wavelets at that instant so these are the basic ideas of huygens principle in order to see the details of that i'm going to explain the types of wavefronts let us see what are the types of wavefronts okay so i'll show you the diagram of types of wavefront see then you will get more idea about huygens principle see these are the three types of wavefronts first one spherical wavefront next one cylindrical wavefront the last one is plane wavefront so spherical wavefront suppose you have a point source a small bulb is kept at a point and all what type of waves is forming hmm? it will generate waves in all the direction am i correct so it will be just like if you consider the locus of all point that is the wavefront isn't it what is wavefront the locus of all points which is vibrating in same phase when you consider that this spherical wavefront that locus means it will be just like spheres isn't it so a point source is kept here suppose a cantile or something so what is the wavefront emitting it will be like spheres so that is spherical wavefront next one cylindrical wavefront suppose the source is just like a linear one linear just like a, a line source or you can call it as a slit in such case how the wavefront is formed can you see yeah like this what will happen a slit is kept hmm so it will be emitting in all direction so what will happening means uh, each and every point will be acting as a uh, wavefront source so what will happen when you consider this when you consider this point it will be like this okay next point means like this like this like this it goes on so in together what will happen the line source will generate this uh, wavefront in the form of a cylinder okay unlike the point source 
this one will act as a cylindrical source so whatever wave front you are getting will be in the form of cylinders are you getting the point yes clear now what about plane wave front a same thing is point source or a cylindrical source finally when you go to the large distance what will happen means their curvature will decrease decrease isn't it here this is the curvature that means that uh, radius no that spherical nature yeah that spherical nature or curvature is maximum near to the center hmm? when you going far away from the source what will happen that the curvature is decreasing decreasing and decreasing finally it will come to a region where the curvature is almost equal to zero and that type of wave front is called in that case what will happen means it will just wave front will be acting just like a plane okay that is called plane wave front understood so in that case what happened means the wave front is exactly like planes because no curvature at infinity so really this spherical wave front and cylindrical wave front if you consider them at infinity then it is plane wave front so you understood okay so that are the three types of wave fronts so what are they let us go through it spherical wave front when the source of light is a point source then the wave front is spherical example one the ripples in water so another example one the a point source a light source which is kept and whatever wave front it is emitting is an example of spherical wave front okay next one plane wave front we are considering a cylindrical form that is a slit or something example rays uh, sorry not plane front i'll discuss with the cylindrical when you consider the uh, slit okay slit means whatever wave front which is coming out of it will be cylindrical wave front okay like slit means what is it line source okay that is called slit and finally plane wave front plane wave front means whatever the spherical wave front or cylindrical wave front then they are at infinity what will happen their curvature will decrease and it will act as plane wave front plane wave front is a source means uh, we cannot specify a source because both the uh, spherical wave front and cylindrical wave front when they are at infinity their radius of curvature decreasing finally it will act as a plane wave front okay example best example one the what is the uh, rays coming from sun hmm? sun means near to that it will be like spherical only but when you are going far away from it especially when on earth suppose we are considering on earth whatever rays which is coming no it's making plane wave front only because its curvature is decreasing so the light ray we can see means their locus if you set means it will be like plane wave front because it is far away infinity distance is it clear so what all things we have seen today children we just gone through go uh, gone through the huygens principle and what are the types of wave fronts isn't it yes hope you have liked this session please like share and subscribe thank you